Hi, so the previous tutorial looked at file writing um, with a 2D list um, and we can do that into a text file so that it's persistent. Um, in this next tutorial we're going to look at file reading, so how do we get all of these details um, back out of our text file. Um, there's a simple way of doing this and then we'll look at how we might format this to make it look more appealing. So the simple way of doing this would be literally to use a for loop, so we're just going to say um, well, our file read is we're going to open the file. So let's go to um, owner file equals open, and we're going to open the um, blood donors dot txt in read mode. Okay, and we're going to um, evaluate that into a list. So let's call this. Um, read list, that's the name of our temporary um, storage for it, we're going to eval um, donor file dot read, so whatever's in donor file we're going to read it and place it into read list and then we're going to close our file, it's best practice, um, and then we can just use a for loop to loop through it, so we can do count in range um, the length of our um, read list. So however many, um, how do we call this, however many elements our 2D list has, we're just going to print them out. So we can just print um, read list count, and that would be the simplest way of outputting our list. Let's have a look at it. Um, B, let's find the donor. Uh, read list is not defined, so we've got read list, we need a capital L. Okay, let's run it. So that's the uh, here. That's a quick way of doing it. We've outputted um, James Brown, Arthur Blackmore, Elizabeth Hidson. Now, what some of you might think is that it could be better formatted in that our names should really line up. So, how would we get it to do that? Um, and how might we get it so that um, we also don't have these speech marks in there as well? So, the way that we're going to do that is by adding in um, what I would call padding. And um, as um, I would generally use a, a space for our padding um, and the best way to do this is probably using um, a how would it, a nested for loop so let's just put this up here we'll move this is something that I added in earlier this is our padding and a padding is just a space this is printing all our donors um, and rather than printing out the entire element, what we can do is we can print out an element at a time and then we'll add in the spacing afterwards. So we'll say for each person's details, for details in range, and we'll say um, the length of one element, so one of the elements um, might be, say, read list um, zero, that's our first element. So based on the length of that, let's print and see what happens. Read list count details. Okay, double close bracket because we've got two functions there. So if we go to B, read list is not defined again. Ah, okay, watch my typing. B. So you'll see that now we've printed out each record that's on a new line. So how do we get that so that each record appears on a new line? Well, we're going to add in um, an end argument, and we'll say at the end of each print statement, we're just going to add in a, um, well, we're going to add nothing, so it will all join together, um, but at the end of each record, we'll add an empty print statement as well. B, that's out of space. That was a bit sloppy, wasn't it? There you go. So we've got our spaces and we've removed our speech marks and also our square brackets is looking a bit more presentable. But lastly, let's get this padding in so that all our names line up properly. It gets a bit tricky when we do this. And um, I'm not going to lie, I, I experimented with this quite a few times um, before I came up with my solution. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to add our padding after each um, word effectively. So we're going to do our pad, which is this um, space, 
and we're going to say, let's assume that the maximum length of any field is 12 characters. We'll take the string of our read list and we'll subtract 12 from that. So that will tell us how many spaces to add. Um, and it's going to be count by details and then close our brackets. One for the string, one for the length, one for this here, and that should do it. Okay, B. And now it's looking really presentable. So that would be how we output um, a list, so how we read from a um, text file which has a 2D list. Um, and in the next tutorial, we'll talk about how we might um, find a particular um, donor um, and also how we might sort as well. That's the end of that.